Morning, Frenchman. Today I'm going to do a poem by Frank Marshall Davis. He was one of our early pioneers in this struggle that we continue to have here in this country. He was born in 1905 in Arkansas City, Kansas. That sounds like three states, right? <laughs> Uh, he, continued, he attended Kansas City State, and he was one of the, tw the first 25 African Americans to enter the school one day. During one of his uh, class assignments, he was told to write some, write some prose. And from there, it took off for him. He started studying journalism, moved to Chicago, where he worked on three African-American African -American newspapers. The, uh, the Chicago Wear and the uh, Chicago Evening Bulletin. Then he moved to Atlanta, where he started off with a bi-weekly newspaper. And because of his expertise, they changed the name to the Atlanta Daily World, and it became the first, the first national newspaper successful by an African American. The title of the poem I'm going to do today comes from his book of prose named Black Man's Verse, and the title of the poem is What Do You Want America? nation of thick muscles that does not sleep through the past greatness. What do you want, America? Sprawling across the nation, your feet washed in two oceans, your gold above high heavens. Thousands of miles of steel veins through which flows your life blood. Your brain at work at Wall Street, telling the world to uh, cut it out or keep it up through a thousand miles in Geneva, London, Paris, Rome, Tokyo. Your six-foot scientists, smart enough to measure the stars billions of miles around, or split unseen atoms swimming in the sea of gold. Strong men, going from rags to riches, to rags to riches. Your army and naval Medusa's head, turning potential enemies to stone. Why serves this Sahara for me? One grain of black sand to blast the heart of, to knife the soul of. How can you answer this? Black scars disfigure the rooty cheeks of new mornings in Dixie. Pinch black men hanging from green trees. Blind justice kicked, beaten, taken for a ride, and left for dead. Have you ever heard of Scotch Barrel Alabama? Your constitution gone blah blah, shattered into a thousand pieces like a broken wall. Lincoln, that Harvey myth. How many black men vote in Georgia? Mobs, chain gangs down south. Tuberculosis up north. So now I'm civilized. What do you want, America? If you want blood and bravery, I give you Christmas Adams, born in Boston. From his blood, the first red dye for the Stars and Stripes. The mud black skin of Peter Sale and his fling and his searing lead against Major Pitt Carey at Bunker Hill. 3,000 brown men helping nurse suckling America when Britain fought to keep her new child. A red interlude when the blood of black and white mingled to cement a sturdier and foundation with Perry on Lake Erie. 
at Gettysburg, on San Juan Hill, in the Argonne, and at St. Michael. If you want blood and bravery, search the pages of Crimson yesterday. See a history written by strong, laughing black men dying. Today, today begins march, singing against the foe of prejudice, and they leave the burn, the hand, the shot, great as casualties of war. Perhaps, America, you want beauty and art. So let me show you Phyllis Wavy before this nation walked alone. Dunbar in adolescence. Johnson, Cullen, McKay. Today, Tanner, who dreams on canvas. Hayes and Paul Robeson. Their, their souls bathed in melody. And there's more for the asking. The Burke Williams, Merlin Lyles, Cheers, two and a half men teach you new laughs. Where were new tunes for dancing before Handy for the Blues and Motown came on the scene? Let us turn to more serious things, you ask American. Let us turn to George Washington Carver, sold for a horse, but at his feet, Kenneth sit. To Washington and Du Bois, unlike yet two Moses, leading the way in the wilderness of race hate, were needed to view the promised land of interracial harmony. Benjamin Bannon, the Boston clockmaker, yet you know these and others. The teams, white boxes, to fight like Jack Johnson, Sugar Ray Robinson, Muhammad Ali. Jumpers, to fly like their hard hunting. You knew Bessie Coleman long before Amelia Earhart. And how many Fritz Pollard's Duke Slayers, Kareem Jabbar, Jim Brown, Woody Majors, Maya Angelos, Dr. Martin Luther King, Barack Obama's, can you boast? All right. Kill me if you must, America. All at once, for a little each day, it won't matter. Black eyes saw the pharaohs rise, and the Kaiser tumbled into dust. Strong ox nations whimpering and crying before other strong ox nations. Where's this role of Caesar? What lives but the dust which covers all? Yet today is today. Today must be empty like a bucket before it drives into history. Today is an eagle, lingering for a while, ready to fly into eternity. Today I live. Today I tell a black folk who made America yesterday, who make America now. Today I see America clawing me like a tiger caged with a hand. Today I hear the discords and the crazy words that America sings to black folk. So today, once again, I ask, what do you want, America? What do you want, America? Thank you. Praise and worship from our deacons and mothers. <laughs> 